Hello everyone, welcome to PySquare Academy, myself Shaker. In this lecture, I will solve most popular question from electrical networks that is cube question in interesting way. If you are new to the channel and want more such kind of videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on our new uploads. And our full length courses are already launched, I am pretty sure you will gain a good knowledge from these courses. You can check the first link in the description for the full length video courses at the best price. Let's get to the question. This is a question where cube is given and here diagonal edges this edge and this edge point a and b okay you need to find the resistance between r a b you might have encountered this question many times in most of the competitive exams it has come right from iit je till gate exam this question has come okay this is the most popular question so let's see how to solve this question uh, for the easy understanding let me redraw this diagram let me just redraw it so after I redraw this, this is what the structure. Let me just go back. This is a cube. I'm not changing the connection. I'm just changing the view. I'm just redrawing this diagram like this. Both are same. Okay. Now this will be a little easier for you to analyze because now everything in front face, right? So let's find out this RAB by looking at this diagram. Okay. Because this diagram and this both are same they are just redrawing the structure i just redrawn the structure let me name this point as 1 this point as 2 this point as 3 let me change the color and this point as 4 this point is 5 this point is 6 so i have 6 extra points apart from a and b let me go back black color yes so with this, let me redraw it. This is point A and here we have point B. This is point B. And 1, 2, 3 are there from B. From point B, 1, 2, 3 are there. This is 1, 2, 3. Resistance, another resistance, another resistance. This is point 1, this is point 2, this is point 3. From B, 1, 2, 3 have come clear with it now from this a 5 is connected 4 is connected 6 is connected from this a careful 4 5 and 6 now the connection other connections like from one point this is done this is drawn this is drawn and this is drawn, this is drawn, this is drawn. These three I had drawn already, these three also I had drawn. So the leftover things are these. Okay, let me take these two. From one, two are going, from one, two are going, and they're connected. One is connected to five, another one is connected to four. Careful. One is connected to four, like this. From one, it is connected to four, it is done. From one to five. From one, to 5 this this is supposed to be the connection okay but here the point point 1 and 2 and 3 those who are written in green color they are having same potential same potential because all are having all edges are having same resistance value so current, if suppose some current is going here, equally current will divide, equally current will divide. Okay, if this current is I, this will be I by 3, this will be I by 3, this will be I by 3. Equal current will divide. So potential at this point, potential at this point, potential at this point, these three points will be same. Similarly, this 5, 6, 4, potential at this point, potential at this point, potential at this point, that value will be same means 4 5 6 potential is same 1 2 3 potential is same which means I can connect this resistance here also no problem at all 
because this potential this potential both are same i can connect here by doing this current in this will not change and current in any other element any other resistance will not change by just instead of connecting this here instead of connecting like this if i connect here there will not be any change in current in any one of the branch no changes at all so i can connect here for the sake of simplicity again from point 2 to 5 from point 2 to 5 there is a connection from 2 to 6 2 to 6 5 6 4 these are the same potential so i can connect like this no harm and from 3 from 3 to 6 and 3 to 4 from 3 to 6 and from 3 to 4 all three are same potential i can connect here means by doing this there will not be any change in the current or voltage in any one of the elements so i can comfortably do like this so now it's easy for you to answer it's easy peasy this is r r r r r r now the resultant resistance let me change the color the resultant resistance of this entire wing is how much r plus r plus r by 2 that is 2r plus r by 2 so you'll get 5r by 2 this branch is having 5r by 2 all these three branches are in parallel each one is having 5r by 2 so 5r by 2 by 3 you will get 5r by 6 that's the value of r a b okay see by redrawing it you got things much easier way there is another way to solve it there is another way to solve it let's go to the second way the second way is by writing a mesh equation by using mesh equation if you can't visualize this properly let's draw the mesh equation for this as i said this is current is i by 3 this is i by 3 this is i by 3 now this i by 3 will divide into two parts i by 6 and i by 6 okay and from here also i by 6 and this is i by 6 from this i by 3 this will be i by 6 and this will be i by 6 because it's a symmetric current will divide equally now this i by 6 and i by 6 will sum up i by 3 will come here this i by 3 i by 3 i by 6 i by 6 sorry applying kcl this will be i by 3 and here also you get i by 6 is there i by 6 is there this will be i by 3 3 i by 3 currents are coming i will leave now if i write kvl i will change the color if i write kvl equation for any one loop let me take this loop you may take any loop maybe this loop you can take any loop then you can write suppose there is a voltage source here there is a voltage source connected here okay so v by i is equal to rab okay so i want to find v by i let me write kvl to this loop for this loop let me write kvl minus v plus i by 3 into r i by 3 into r 3 sorry ir by 3 plus this plus ir by 6 then this plus ir by 3 is equal to 0 to solve this equation you will get v by i is equal to 5 r by 6 we know v by i is equal to r a b this is the value of r a b that's it so this method i think most of you are aware the previous one most of the people are not aware that's it i think we enjoyed the session hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such kind of interesting videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon and if you like our videos and want full length video courses you can check the first link in the description for the full length video courses at just 29 rupees per hour you will get videos okay thank you see you in the next session